Hey guys, and it turns out we're going to be talking about the distinction between two scary bugs with terrifying names, but luckily only one of them is native to Arizona. People were confusing that or curious to know if the cicada killer wasp that occurs in Arizona was also was the um, Asian giant hornet. If you'll remember, the Asian giant hornet, or murder hornet as it was nicknamed, was getting a lot of attention earlier this year when the insects hitched a ride to the Pacific Northwest. And since people here were seeing pictures of them shared all over social media, they started confusing them with Arizona's own cicada killer wasp. So it's been found up in Washington State and British Columbia, but it so far hasn't been found or recorded yet in Arizona. That's some good news from Jean Hall with the University of Arizona's Insect Collection Department. So should we be worried about Arizona's own cicada killer wasps? Cicada killer wasp is actually um, a pollen feeder or a nectar feeder, I should say. But when it's time to have babies, the nectar just isn't enough. Here's what happens when it's time for the killer wasps to lay their eggs. The female cicada killer wasp needs to find adult cicadas, um, paralyze them, drag them down into a chamber, a burrow, so she can lay an egg on that to paralyze cicada. Luckily, only the cicadas have to worry about becoming an unwitting host and a tasty lunch for a new killer wasp family. So Jean says, if possible, take the time to enjoy and observe the insects in action. Just let them be, let them do their thing. They're not out to get you. They're going about their daily business of doing what they need to do to survive. Uh, to feed, you know, feed off pollen or nectar, whatever they're into as adults, to look for hosts to feed their young, their immature stages. Rachel Cole, 12 News.